Sarah Cynthia Sylvia Stout would not take the garbage out by Shel Silverstein. Sarah Cynthia Sylvia Stout would not take the garbage out. She'd scour the pots and scrape the pans, candy the yams and spice the hams. And though her daddy would scream and shout, she simply would not take the garbage out. And so it piled up to the ceilings, coffee grounds, potato peelings, brown bananas and rotten peas, chunks of sour cottage cheese. It filled the can, it covered the floor. It cracked the window and blocked the door with bacon rinds and chicken bones, drippy ends of ice cream cones, prune pits, peach pits, orange peel, gloppy glumps of cold oatmeal, pizza crust and withered greens, soggy beans and tangerines, crust of black burned butter toast, grisly bits of beefy roast. The garbage rolled on down the hall. It raised the roof and it broke the wall. Greasy napkins, cookie crumbs, globs of gooey bubble gum, cellophane from green bologna, rubbery blubbery macaroni, peanut butter caked and dry, curdled milk and crust of pie, moldy melons, dried up mustard, eggshells mixed with lemon custard cold French fries and rancid meat, yellow lumps of cream of wheat. At last the garbage reached so high that finally it touched the sky and all the neighbors moved away and none of their friends would come to play. And finally, Sarah Cynthia Stout said, okay, I'll take the garbage out. But then of course it was too late. The garbage reached across the state from New York to the Golden Gate. And there in the garbage she did hate. Poor Sarah met an awful fate. I cannot right now relate because the hour is much too late. But children, remember Sarah Stout and always take the garbage out.